extra, extra step right up, folks. Let me regale you with a tale of exquisite artistry that is film photography in this splendid year. Gather round, my friends, as I paint a picture of unparalleled beauty and grace. In this wondrous world of film photography, every click of the shutter captures the essence of a world on the brink of transformative change. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to do a little unboxing. These are just some cameras that I bought on an online thrift store, and I thought it'd be really cool to go ahead and show you. So I have not yet opened this box, and I'm gonna give you my first impressions, basically what it's gonna be like for me when I open these, because I thought they were pretty cool, but they're just really neat old vintage cameras. Now, I don't know the, what they look like, uh, you know, I really don't know what they look like. I've only seen pictures of them online and you know how pictures can be. Pictures can be kind of deceiving. You never know what you're really gonna get until you have it in your hands. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what I have got. Let's see if it's worth what I paid, which wasn't very much to be honest. Uh, I got it for a little over 20 bucks. So not bad, but you know, I thought it was cool. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and open up with this. This should be kind of exciting. Let's see what we got. All right. So I got bubble wrap, cool. And I have one. I have two. Ooh, wow. Okay, and I have three. Now, one of these cameras I definitely can't use because it is an old video camera and I cannot get film for that anymore. But the other two I can actually get film for and I can still use them, so I thought that would be really, they would be fun to use if they work. I hope they work, we'll see. If not, I'll clean them and do my best to get them to function. We'll see what happens. Anyway, first one off. The one I have right here. Ooh, this is cool. It's dirty, but I can clean it. It is a very vintage Kodak, Cine Kodak Royal Magazine camera. This is pretty cool. I was looking at this online and it's just, it's uh, really, really neat looking. I don't know how it works. I have to play around with it. Man, this is really interesting. So you just set the focal length, wow. So this apparently had interchangeable lenses back in the day. I don't know if you can get them anymore, but you can actually change out this lens and you would just spin it to roll the film. Yeah, I don't know if that's working or not, but <laughs> let's see how you open it. I don't even know. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. So you open it, you put the cartridge. It was actually a film cartridge that you put in there. And what happened is it just ran the spool in front of the lens. And that was actually, it's actually a pretty cool video camera from back when. But as you can see the, actually the film right there. And these are all film cameras I bought. So I thought they were actually pretty cool. I might have to clean this and try to get this thing to work. If not, I'm just gonna put it on my shelf as a part of my collection. I wanna collect some old cameras, you know. So I thought that'd be cool. Okay, so that one's done with. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see here. This one, this is the one I really wanted. This is a full, uh, this is a medium format camera. It's not one of the higher end ones, but I still thought it was really cool. Because it even comes in a leather case, which is a little beat up, but you know what, for the price I paid, I'm not complaining. Oh, it comes with a strap. That's neat. All right. It smells really old too. <laughs> wow, the smell. All right, so let's go ahead and take this out. This is an Argo Flex um, medium format box camera. It has a 4.5 uh, f-stop. It goes down to 4.5. And it's a 75 millimeter lens. Actually, it's not too bad looking. It's just a little dusty, if anything. Let me go ahead and take it out of this case and see what I can 
what it does here. Oh, it opens up. Neat. All right. Oh, very cool. I don't know exactly. No, there we go. Ooh, I hear loose parts. I don't want to hear that, but it's okay. Oh, it's just the clip right there. Oh, cool. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Ah, oh, darn. It doesn't have the magnifying glass I was hoping for. That's okay. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I am wrong. See, little do I know. It, these all have a magnifying glass so that you can actually view your image. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but it has a magnifying glass so that you can really define what you're focusing on. In this camera, I just really liked the way it looked. I liked how everything, I just liked everything about it. It's actually a really solid camera. I thought it'd be more plastic. And actually this is, this is heavy, it's metal. So that's neat. And this will take a uh, 120 millimeter film and uh, it's still usable even today, which I think is really neat. It is dirty, I can see that. So I'll have to take it apart and clean it the best I can, which can be done. You just have to be careful because this camera was actually made in the 1940s. This is a very old box camera. Very cool though, it has everything you need. Yeah, very neat. There's something loose in there. I don't like that sound, so I'm gonna try to open it up right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just the, oh, what is that? That's no good. It's a spring. Okay, so it does require a couple parts and that's okay. That is a given for its age. I understand that. Okay. So I'll have to just take it apart and put it back together and see if I can make this thing work. Cause I really was interested in trying to see if this can work. And I think I can, I just need a spool. See back there, it just needs, then these little parts fell out unfortunately, but that's okay. I just like the way it looks and even, and it's really cool. But I'm gonna try to get it to work cause these can take some beautiful pictures even for its age. Shutter works. These have a leaf shutter by the way. It's really cool. But basically you just, the film goes in here, it wraps in through here, and then this is your shutter. <laughs> Pretty cool. And these are your focus rings right here. This is your viewing, your viewing glass right here. And then this is your, what takes the picture. Pretty cool actually. I'm gonna go ahead and put these right back in here so they don't lose them. Let's go ahead and close this up. Very cool. And then I guess these, oh, and these are actually just for a camera strap. So that's even cooler. Anyway, got that really good price too. So, and with the case, so you can't beat that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put this back in here. And these are, these are really neat. These are from, Really, this camera is from the 40s, so I have no idea. I can only imagine what this camera has seen. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now this camera is, this one was a Sears made camera. It was made from Sears and Robux back in the day. And this one also comes in a case. Pretty cool. Um, it is a tower camera, what is it? Let me see what it is. I'm gonna open it up. Forget what it is. It a, this case is really interesting. Okay, there we go. Ooh, and that's not in bad shape at all. Cool. And it has a tripod mount connected to the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna just take it off right now. Just so I can get the camera out. There we go. That's neat. Okay, so this is a Tower 57A. And it has a meter built in and everything. This is actually a rangefinder camera. This one. is very interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might be breaking something if I do that, but this one I thought was really neat. And since it is 35 millimeter, I could probably use it as well. 
Oh, the meter just works. You don't have to have a you know, battery. That's cool. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how this works because I, I don't even know how this works. I don't want to break anything because I'm not a film person. But I like these old film cameras a lot. And I wanted to see how it works. So down here, I don't know what that is either. See, I'm a novice to this stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you can still, that looks cool. I don't see a shutter moving now. Very interesting. Oh yeah, there's a shutter. It actually looks like it's in, it's okay. This is a little dirty, that's all. It can be definitely cleaned. Um, but this one was in really good condition. It's a tower, uh, tower 57A. So hey, if I can get these things to work, I'll actually take some pictures of them and, and put them online. I can't do it right now until they're clean, but when I do, I'll let you guys know. And uh, if I do, <laughs> if I am able to get it to work properly. Uh, the, the meter works, so that's really cool. I don't even know how this meter works though, because it's like so different. Because film was a little bit different to use. Do anything crazy with this okay so yeah yeah guys so this is the camera so you guys can see what it is pretty cool looking old thing and there's a meter on top that i'm talking about but yeah and it's just actually neat because it zooms this is actually a 2.8 lens on here and i think it even has a flash which I don't even know how that works if there's no battery, but it has L like, it looks like it has LEDs, but I don't think they made LEDs back when these cameras were made. It says made in Japan. Very cool stuff. Oh, even, it does have a flash. Yep. Right here shows flash or bulb. I'm going to have to learn how to use this thing. It doesn't even have a place for a strap. So that's kind of weird. On the case, it does. The case has a strap. So I guess you're supposed to just keep it in the case. That's fine. See? Very cool. All right, well, uh, that's really it. If you guys like this, you know, make sure you hit that like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel if uh, you liked this video and you thought it was cool. And if you wanted to ask about these cameras or have any questions or make comments about it, you know, let me know in the comments below. I really would like to hear some of your input on these cameras. I think they're still usable. I want the box one to work because bo the box cameras can give you some pretty cool looking images. And there's still places out there that will actually still develop your film. Uh, you just have to mail it in. But yeah, guys, this is pretty neat. I'll put some pictures online as well with these cameras and um, so that way you guys can have a closer look of what they really look like for your pleasure, okay? They're pretty cool. They're just really old retro cameras. This is from Sears. The other one is a Argo Flex and the other one's a Kodak camera. But yeah, all right guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, please take care. See you. See you. Bye.